introducing online marking was a fairly big step. I mean, we've been marking electronically using Word, for instance, for some time. But actually marking on the screen, there was a significant amount of resistance within the school. And so there's a lot of training that we had to do with the staff. Um, so we had people who we trained up ourselves and a team that assembled, which we could then go into the academic's office, sit next to the academic and show them how it worked. Um, there's also a degree of confusion with Turnitin originality reports. Um, there's a temptation to see the Turnitin school as the plagiarism school, where it's only just a similarity school. It doesn't necessarily mean it's plagiarism. And it took a long time to try and get that through to a couple of academics just explaining how tension works and how to read the reports because that's a skill in itself. Um, I mean we use it for our distance learning programs, the whole suite of them, so it enables us to uh, receive scripts from students electronically rather than paper copy. Uh, we also use it for originality reports and we also now use grade mark for marking. So it's a whole suite for the whole marking process. I mean, students have generally been very positive. Um, one of the reasons they've been positive is because in the past what we've done, tended to do is use paper-based um, feedback forms. And unfortunately the handwriting of some academics is not as, uh, as good as it could be. And so the, 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 simply the shift to electronic marking has allowed us to, for the marker to provide typed feedback and also more detailed feedback. Um, one of the key benefits has been that the move to online marking has allowed the, the marker to provide more feedback. So it's not just the general comments, it's now annotated scripts and we can refer to web pages, etc. So um, it's, it enables the marker to provide a whole suite of feedback, a, whole, a comprehensive feedback, rather than what they used to provide, which was handwritten scored notes. Um, I mean, the, the workloads, one of the reasons we moved to Grademark and also to Turnitin was because of the time it took to actually check a student's script for plagiarism. Um, on average it was taking several hours per script and the markers weren't accepting that. Um, so the key reason, first and foremost, was uh, moving to originality reports enabled us to cut back on that time. Um, so now you get a straightforward originality report which a person can read in a matter of minutes. Um, so that was a key benefit. There are other areas where it's taking longer to mark. So the, mar the marker needs to be s um, sat next to a computer to be able to mark now rather than being able to mark on the train or on the bus, um, which does create a burden for some markers. Um, but it takes longer to mark on screen and we also are limited by what we can mark on screen. So things like a dissertation, we find it far too difficult to mark on screen. Whereas a 3,500 word essay is possible. Um, so the work, the workload, it takes longer to mark, generally about 10% once you're settled into the system. But the benefit from the student's perspective is you get a lot more feedback and the markers are marking up each section as they go along. So you can see the flow of marking as the marker's comments develop as the uh, assignment goes on. So it's a more comprehensive feedback mechanism. Um, in terms of workflow, um, we used to have a situation where we used to have to wait weeks for the student script to reach our desks because obviously working all across the world we now get instantly so we can plan our work for a lot better we know when the deadlines are and you can manage your work so that once it's in you can give yourself enough time so it's a far more manageable system um, it, in terms of the, the workflow it, it's not as straightforward as perhaps we originally thought we do have to have systems beyond um, grade mark because we haven't got compatibility with SITS, for instance, and the database that we do use is very limited. So we do have to have a number of spreadsheets which allows us to plot the workflow. Um, so as a marker, what you tend to receive is you'll receive the spreadsheet saying you've got scripts to mark, you then go into grade mark, you use Turnitin to mark, um, uh, grade mark to mark, um, but you then have to record the feedback not only on grade mark but also on the spreadsheet and ship that back to administrators to input it into the database. So it's not as smooth as it could be but it's a significant improvement on the hard copy 